This is how to get to mid-game fast in Infinity Craft Wars. The first thing is to mine in the caverns. Now that you're in the caverns, the ores you need to prioritize is gold, blue steel, diamond, copper, and instone. You can go further into the mines for crystal to craft water downfall. After that, craft instone minigun and instone armor. Now it's time to fight the enemies. You need to wear your instone armor and use the instone minigun in your equipped slots. And then go to the water temple, which is level 5 required. Which is pretty easy. But after that, you gotta go craft water downfall after you finish the water temple. All you need to do is stay at a range and shoot the mobs. For the boss, just keep moving and keep dodging his attacks. It's very simple. Once you have the materials, craft water downfall. It's very easy, and it's also very good for starters. Once you have water downfall, we're gonna do elemental domain now. The boss is a lot harder than the temples, but you should be able to manage with a minigun and water downfall. Once the boss spawns, pull out your minigun with water downfall and avoid him at all costs. Stay at a decent range so he doesn't grab you in an instant and kill you, but you can also aim for his head with a minigun dealing tons of damage. Two times damage and body shots. So aim for his head and stay away from him. That's all you need to know. And then you can use the map to your advantage by blocking him by using the pillars on the sides. Now grind the previous 3 dungeons to get at least 3 Orb of Lives to craft Minigun of Life, Uzi of Life, and Armor of Life. Now craft minigun of life and armor of life. But what I did here was I went to mine for Uzi of life so I can craft Uzis just so I can craft Uzi of life since I did not craft Uzi when I started the game. So I will go mining right now. After you crafted Uzi of life, we should do the electro temple now or electric domain where it's a boss that drops a spear which is very useful. It's a very good weapon.
Now you can choose. You can either go to Hell Domain or Bane Temple. I personally would go for Bane Temple since it's a lot easier than Hell Domain. So I would choose Bane Temple. The boss is pretty easy. You just circle him with a minigun and just aim for his head. And he takes damage and eventually dies. I personally would use Elemental Scythe and charge it up with Elemental Power. And then use a Z move as well as a Sphere using Z and X move on Sphere. Which is, deals a lot of damage. But make sure you avoid his laser beam, which is the most dangerous move he has. That laser beam shreds you. So what I do is just walk around in a circle for laser beam. That's all you need to do. And then after this boss, it's going to be a lot harder from now on. Now that you beat Bane Temple, you gotta do some Nature Temple runs so you can craft a Healing Staff, which is required for the boss I'm about to fight. After you get the materials for healing staff, craft it. And then we can go on to fight the boss, which is required to get to mid game. Yeah. 
After you defeat the boss, you're gonna craft the elemental blaster, which you can craft core elements and use your UZI and minigun of life to craft it. And then you just repeat the same method I just showed you on getting all the materials for core of elements, but you have elemental blaster this time, which makes it a lot easier. So you repeat the same method for the armor and also make sure you get the elemental sigil too, which is the helmet. Congratulations, now you are in mid game. Well, early mid game, we're just getting started in this game because early game to mid game is the most boring part of the game. But in my opinion, if you're actually willing to go to end game, it's really fun once you get there. But if you actually beat the game, it's a little lacking in content because it's still in beta. So you should try this out. I'll link the discord in the description and also link the game in the description. So have fun playing this game and grinding. <laughs> 